Michael Daly, um, um, Chair. I'm uh, representing myself. I'm a resident of Waikiki. Um, I'm very concerned that the, the mere mention of free speech and expressive rights has been taken out of this bill and needs to be placed in there somehow, somewhere. Uh, apart from that, I'm opposed to the bill um, in toto anyway, but, um, you know, I guess uh, the council's going to do what it wants, uh, irrespective of the law. I have a paragraph I'd like to read. Uh, I've been homeless. I know what it's like. I've been arrested. I, um, I, I see a, a culture of... Um, discrimination and disenfranchisement of the ho uh, houseless population that this city and the state and the nation actually has created. I, I'll read from a statement that I've, I haven't finished quite preparing, but I'll uh, finish it today and hand it in to you, um, if that's okay. Sure. It, it won't be too late. Can I just uh, extend my time to read one paragraph? Uh, okay, we'll give you a chance to finish up. Thank you. Uh, the need to address public safety and economic development is reasonably fulfilled by existing laws pertaining to the obligation to render assistance to persons in distress or laws pertaining to disorderly contact. Further, the right of posture or appearance in public places is protected by free speech and human rights laws. As such, these prime fundamental laws cannot be dis diminished or impeded by unsubstantiated arguments of the city to maintain public safety or economic responsibility. The interests, the interests are not unreasonably compromised by withdrawing Bill 59 now. Uh, uh, the impacts here, in any case, are predominantly caused by the houseless epidemic which is the city and state's own making and can be addressed otherwise and properly by instituting immediate housing first policies and programs. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Daly. Uh, members, questions for our testifier? If not, thank you very much.